Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I'm Heidi Borchers. And I'm Savannah Starr. Cool to Craft recently sent our special reporter Lisa Fulmer to the CHA Summer 2012 show to find out what's new. And she found a new exhibitor that was also a Booth Award winner. Let's join Angie Hunt, the owner of Little Darling Stamp. Hey Tiffany, I'm here at CHA, I'm at Little Darlings, and here are three Little Darlings right here, and we're going to check in with them, look how cute their outfits are! So we're going to check in with them and see all of their amazing rubber stamps. Well hey crafters, we're coming uh, to you guys from CHA right now, it's our very, very first time exhibiting here, we're really excited to show you everything that we've been working on, all that we have to offer. If you come on over here, I can show you, um, actually our very first product line, um, they're Little Darlings. Um, and they are a little more realistic line. We've got these, these little kids, they're, they're designed to be colored. Um, if you take a look down here, you can see how we've actually colored some of these with, with some Copic markers and just different mediums. We've got uh, um, pencils in here and we've got uh, watercolors. Um, if you take a look at our stamps, you can actually see we've got a really funky, really beautiful blue stamp. Um, looks awesome when it's sitting on your craft table. You can pick it out from anywhere. This stamp line here is, is called, these are our cutie pies. If you look up here, you can actually see our, our, our little girls and our little boys. They're a little more, uh, a little more animated, a little more cartoon-like. Um, they've got rounder faces, thicker bodies, and it allows for us to get um, a little more complex with the coloring, get a little more shading and shadowing there. Um, and we've got a whole line here, brand new line of uh, background images. So you can see here how we paired up some of our background images. We've got uh, the In the Park over here with one of our cutie pies. We can also mix and match these. These backgrounds work well together whether you're working with the cutie pies or the little darlings. We've actually got one of our backgrounds over here with a, couple, with a few of our new, um, our new little darling stamps. So they're all interchangeable. Here's some more of our samples. Um, so far I've shown you uh, mostly card projects, but we can also do some altar projects here as well. This is, this is a wine box. Um, this year at CHA, our this year we're introducing our paper packs. So we've actually taken this wine box and we've modified it and altered it and put some of our paper packs. We've got our chocolate covered cherry. It's a six by six paper pack. And this is our caladium collection. So all the sheets inside are six by six? All the sheets inside are six by six. There's 24 sheets in total, eight designs in each. So you get three sheets of each of eight designs. We have purposely not bound the edges and put these into a paper pad. It is actually a paper pack. So when you open this up, you have individual sheets. You don't have to worry about tearing them from that glue and tearing the sheets and sometimes getting some of that glue in there. It also makes it really easy when you have to store your papers again. I'm a crafter. I don't always use a full sheet of my paper. If I need to put that back into a pad, I can't do that very easily without it falling out. I can put it right back into my plastic pack and I can keep all my papers right there together. So it makes it a lot easier. On this particular sample card, you can see one of our sentiments up there in the corner. We've got sentiment sets, six of them in total as of right now. Uh, it's a four by six sheet of rubber, and this is how they come. Oops, this way. Okay, so you can easily cut them apart and, and, and mount them on your block. Okay, so right now I'd like to show you what you can expect when you receive one of our stamps and how you can get started using one. Our stamps will arrive in packaging, little plastic packaging, just like this. Um, we have a custom blue color. Again, I think I mentioned that earlier, so it's going to be nice and easy for you to find in your craft desk. You're going to take that up, you're going to take that, and you're going to open it. Our stamps are unmounted, meaning they do not have the foam behind them. And again, that, that's a decision we made from a crafter's standpoint. Um, it makes it so that you can cut these down to whatever you know, size, as close as you would like to come with them. It also makes it much easier for you to store them, so you can store many more of them in, in your, your craft drawers. And it also keeps the price down for the consumers. I'm going to take that stamp, you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to start trimming until you've trimmed around it, just like this. You're going to take your acrylic block. And your acrylic block is going to have some sort of a reusable adhesive on it. You can apply that to it so that it stays on. I'm going to ink it up. We get a fair amount of ink on it. Stamp it onto whatever paper I like to work with. Really good.
Here's my stamped image. I'm going to clean my ink up very gently. You can use a baby wipe. You can. I'm just using a, a paper towel that's dampened with some water. You're going to peel it off your reusable adhesive. You're going to reapply the film on that too, just to protect it, and you're all set. You can take your stamp and put it in your stamp drawer, and you're good to go. Now this is our newest product line. It's called Saturated Canary. The images, again, are very realistic, but they're really funky and really playful. We're really excited about this line. It's, it's turning out to be extremely popular. We know what we're doing. The artist is named uh, Krista Smith. You can see we've done a sample here where we've actually put her on fabric, colored her in with some markers. And did you stamp directly on the fabric? Stamped directly onto the fabric, colored yeah. her in with, with some alcohol markers. And was there any kind of special ink you used to be permanent on fabric, or did you heat set it? It is heat set. It's, it's a memento, and, it, and it's heat set. Over here we've got um, an example of how you can use a rubber stamp. Maybe you're not a color artist. So here we've shown a sample of how you can actually create your own designer paper. I love how these stamps are designed to be colored. You can use your Copic markers, you can use your watercolors, or your colored pencils. I that is so cool. Love it! For more ideas, information, and inspiration, go to littledarlingsrubberstamps.com.